I get a call from Tony and Brian. So they called me up, they had played about five gigs, and all of a sudden all these labels, record labels, were, were chasing after them. And they didn't really, you know, know too much about contracts or any of that stuff. So they called me up and said, yo, Bob, you got to come over here because all these companies are after us and we need your help, you know. So the next day, you know, that night I packed, packed my bags, went to New York, caught the next flight out of New York, which is the, which is the morning, to London. I was there, I was in London the next day. <laughs> I didn't need a, any. I just said, "Yeah, this sounds good." <laughs> Did they figure way out? Because we're only supposed to be there for about a month, you know. It's. I was, you know, like they said, we'll be here for you know about another month or so or two, you know. They figured they come back to the states, you know, get a record deal and come back to the states, but that's not what happened. <laughs> so I was here the next day, and. Uh, it was funny, that week, or it's the week after that, the week after that, they were on a cover of NME, uh, the Stray Cats. And it was, it was amazing, you know, like, they were the hottest band in town. The Stray Cats were, you know, like, in England, if you, if you follow how the English press is and everything like that, you know, they jump on a band and then you become flavor of the week, or the month, or whatever, and like, and you know everything you do, they write about. You know, Stray Cats were like the you know the hot band. Every single label ch was chasing after them. Every one of them. It was mind-boggling. But over there, you, you have the labels chasing you. You have the booking agency chasing you, and the publisher, uh, not publisher, uh, publishing. So you have all these people chasing after you. You know, taking you out to dinners and stuff like that. Basically, it was like supposed to be a co-management thing, but uh, I was the one that actually did the contract with with Arista. The whole thing came down to uh, the day of the contract was uh, came down. We came down to three labels: so Arista, Chrysalis, and A and M. Quickly threw off A and M. We went to Chrysalis. And uh, everybody from Chrysalis was there. You know, they were big, one of those big board meeting tables, you know. And we, we walked in there and we started talking to them. And one of our demands was my idea was that uh, whoever signed us would not, could not have us. For, uh, for uh, North America, I wanted to sign. I wanted my idea was to go back to the United States and sign with a different label in the United States, and that, and actually have two major labels working for us at the same time. Because uh, to me, that seemed like a really interesting way. If you have two labels working for you, they're working for you worldwide, basically, because they want, no matter if they're not in your territory, they still want to push you.